guys, this is Juan Luis Juan. Thanks for watching this video today. There was a bye week, so we had no game last week, obviously. Came back from a horrible Steelers game. I think we, we were right there, man. We were almost about to win the game, and then, damn, dude. Just, they couldn't get the job done with Gary Gilbert. We had one last chance to possibly win the game, and it was up for grabs, and then we just couldn't come up with the W. But then this week, today, play the Vikings. Pretty good game by Zeke. Finally reaches over 100 yards in a game in a while, so I'm very happy for Zeke today. Hopefully we can get some more Ws along the line to make the playoffs, because the uh, NFC East is looking like a train wreck, obviously. It's looking pretty bad. All the teams are tied, except the Eagles are three, six, and one. And then it's up for grabs as the Cowboys win this this game on Thursday on Thanksgiving. If we win the game against Washington. We're up on we're first place. <laughs> so hopefully some good new humble beginnings, man, for the Cowboys. CD Lamb was playing good tonight. Ezekiel Elliott, Tony Pollard, Mark Cooper when we needed him. He made some good plays. Michael Gallup dropped the ball a couple times, but I'm not worried. I'm not too much worried about that. Andy Dalton was looking good out there tonight. Other than that interception he had today. Well, let's react to these highlights. I watched it live. I was very excited for the game. I was like, man, hopefully they don't come up short like the last couple couple times. But I'm looking forward to the Cowboys to, I don't know, redo this whole, hope for the next chapter. See what, what we can come up with. Well, let's see. Thielen shifts to the right side. Second down and six. Cousins Kirk Cousins gets sacked right here. Our defense was playing good tonight, man. Really good defense. That was a sack by Wilson. It was close to helmet to helmet, but. And that was an inner. That was a fumble. I mean, that wasn't a fumble, but Wilson stole the ball from Kirk Cousins, and then Wilson fell on the ground. And they ended up challenging, and they won the challenge. C.D. Lamb completes the catch. Andy Dalton is going to come up here. Passes to Zeke, and Zeke gets a, a touchdown here. First touchdown in a while for Zeke Elliott. Very happy for him tonight. Very, very good game today, man. Greg Zerline's kick is, is blocked. So we're up 6-0 and right now. Kirk Cousins right here. Kirk Cousins completes with to Adam Thielen. It was hard containing Cook tonight. Pretty hard containing him. Dalvin Cook is a freaking beast, dude. Our defense made some pretty good plays, man. Like, our defense wasn't giving up on any plays, man. Dalvin Cook with a touchdown, with the Vikings' first touchdown. It was his 14th touchdown of the season right here. Vikings lead 7-0. Dalton right here. See, I like Dalton was more aggressive in this game. And last game, he didn't know what he was doing. And in this game, he looked like his old self, his old the Bengal quarterback days when he was with the Bengals. Great pass here to Amari Cooper. Right here, Andy Dalton makes a horrible interception. He intercepts the ball. Viking, Vikings have it. They lead 7-6. I'm so happy that Sean Lee's back in the mix of our defense. Kirk Cousins right here, man. Dalvin Cook is stopped here on his tracks. Wow, that could have been a good play right here by the Vikings, but there was a there was a flag, so they that play didn't count. There was an illegal shift, so the play would have been clever, man, but there was a flag, so it didn't count. CD Lamb here, Andy Dalton to, to Zeke, Andy Dalton 
Andy Dalton to Michael Gallup. Andy Dalton is going to pass it to CeeDee Lamb. Amazing catch by CeeDee Lamb, dude. Such a great pass, dude. And then CeeDee Lamb able to grasp it with one hand as he fell on the ground. You see, that was a great highlight for CeeDee Lamb for his rookie career so far. Pretty amazing, dude. Just what we needed, an awesome play like that, man. Vikings couldn't get nothing here going on. Back to Cowboys football. Andy Dalton at 68 yards, two touchdowns, one interception right here. Dude. Man, Michael Gallup should have caught this ball right here, but he dropped it, man. That would have been a great play for him. Andy Dalton was passing it good. Dude, right here, man, I thought we were going to, man, I thought we were going to, the game wasn't going for us over here, almost leading to, to the second half. Dalvin Cook makes a good run right here. Kurt, man, the Vikings kept getting, and all then they fumbled the ball here, the Vikings, he gives it to Jalen Smith, and Jalen Smith keeps running it. Oh, what the heck? He just kept running it. Dalvin Cook fumbled the ball. He got hit really hard. Mari Cooper catches the ball. Any Dalton to Mari Cooper. Right there. Right here. I think we couldn't get the we couldn't get a touchdown. CeeDee Lamb couldn't reach the ball. Overthrown a little bit. And we just go for the field goal kick to make it uh, 16-7. Vikings have it at the start of the third quarter, I believe. Or I don't know. I think the Adam Thielen, Adam Thielen catches it with one hand, I believe. Yeah, that was a good catch by Adam, Adam Thielen. Caught it with one hand as he was going out of bounds. CeeDee Lamb's fast, dude. Tony Pollard's pretty fast, too, dude. Cheetah Bell Woozy is back on defense for that wide receiver coverage. Man, they got lucky right here. Kirk Cousins just had enough time to throw the ball and give it to one of his receivers, man. Her cousins kept getting lucky. Right here, give it to Adam Thielen. Dalvin Cook runs it. In good yards. Dalvin Cook's a monster, dude. Right here, wide open Adam Thielen. Goes straight and then runs to the right to a certain direction. Changes his direction and he just... You're going to lose him most of the time, man. You're going to lose him. If the defense can't read the offense. Zeke has a good run right here. 15-yard run right here. You see, Cowboys were coming back with some good plays. Look, dude, Tony Pollard right here just passes everybody and goes for the touchdown. Tony Pollard, first touchdown right here. Nice. Man, I was pumped up, dude. And then Zeke Elliott here passes it to CD Lamb for the two point conversion to make it 24 21. This was a good game, man. This was a good game. It was a nail biter for me, man. I was like, man, I hope the Cowboys make a big enough lead so the Vikings won't catch up, so it won't be a nail biter as usual. Didn't want it to be like the Steelers game. And you hear him when he makes these calls on the line, he knows exactly what to do. Second down and three, play action. Cousins going deep for Jefferson. Man, this touchdown, dude. Her cousins to Jefferson, wide open. There's your dance, Kenny the Gritty. That's your dance, Kenny. <laughs> I was mad right here, man, Kirk Cousins. Second down and 17. I was like, come on, Cowboys, come on, Cowboys. It was second and down and third down. Third down and 10. I was like, come on, man. Dude, Andy Dalton almost lost it here. 
Yeah, nothing happened. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. And it was just our defense. It was up to our defense to make the stops in order for us to get the ball back. Andy Dalton had, a, had the ball batted away, and Andy Dalton barely recovered it. And then it's Cowboys football game because the Vikings weren't able to make get enough first downs to waste enough time. And look at this nice, nice first down by Zeke Elliott. Zeke Elliott came up clutch today. Ain't gonna lie. Andy Dalton right here finds Amari Cooper wide open. Nice passes to Dalton Schultz. Dude, Dalton Schultz is really reliable in like catching the ball, dude. And right here, he finds Dalton Schultz wide open to, man, to get us that lead, baby. 31-28, dude. That's what's up. Vikings here hoping for one last chance. Nothing. Nothing. Almost intercepted it. <laughs> and the Cowboys take the knees. And that's it. 31-28. Third victory. Let me see. That's the, that was the highlights, man. Pretty good game by the Cowboys, man. The lead kept changing changing in this game. Kind of a no-biter right there and then. And I see Stephen A. Smith on Instagram talking smack about the Cowboys. Like, I don't give a damn about the Cowboys. <laughs> Give a damn that y'all won a game. You lucky son of a man. I ain't gonna lie, Cowboys are have been disappointing this season. Um, definitely, I'm looking forward to see what else they got left in the tank. But man, it really has impacted their chemistry since Dak Prescott's been out. And he's Dalton, 22 out of 32, 203 yards, three touchdowns. That's nice. One interception. Ezekiel Elliott, 21 carries. 103 yards, he had one touchdown. CD Lamb had one touchdown. Tony Pollard had a touchdown. 60 yards for Tony Pollard. Pretty good game, dude, but honestly. It was just all around good game, dude. Good good Cowboys win, finally get a get a win up there, man. Saw some players back, and there were some uh, defensive line changes. They, they released some, some of their players, and they, they kept the young ones, obviously. Some of the old, old players. And then it's just all about execution, you know? It's all about adjustments. Gotcha. I really thought, I didn't know, I was really surprised that they started Andy Dalton. Think about it, I keep changing the quarterback, then it kind of messes up, kind of throws off the chemistry a little bit, don't you think? But it was a bye week, so I think they had plenty of time to practice. But then again, I'm like, man, I hope Ezekiel Elliott lives up to his contract, man, because I really like Zeke. His toughness and aggression in the game, but it hasn't been, it has been lacking. These past couple games, and finally today, a good game. 100 over 103 yards, pretty good, man. Hope he keeps it up. But there's a lot of been a lot of talking on first take on the media, talking about Zeke not living up to his contract potential, and then Dak being franchise tag on whether or not he's gonna be back next season or whatnot. He receives his money this this year, but it's not guaranteed. You know, it's a franchise tag. It's not gonna get money next year if he's not if he's not with the Cowboys. But if he does, then they're gonna I don't know if they're gonna franchise tag him or just give him a contract. I think they want the Dak Prescott to play for the Cowboys game, so he's, and he's he's for sure making a full recovery. But then um yeah, and the NFC East is up for grabs. All of them all the teams are pretty much tied. The Giants, the Eagles, the Cowboys win this uh, Thursday Thanksgiving, then they're gonna be up first place. Pretty brutal <laughs> NFC East. The Cowboys are not that bad, though. They played against the Steelers pretty well. Ben Roethlisberger got lucky, though. Oh, he got so lucky last game, man. Yeah, I'm rocking the shirt. Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones. Hopefully, Mike Tyson is able to win. I'm going to I'm gonna be watching the fight. I'm waiting on some McDonald's merch still, so I'm going to be doing, like, two separate videos or three videos individually of unboxing them as they, as they come in. I ordered some PlayStation merch that he had. With, uh, with Travis Scott, the collaboration with him. Pretty cool video he made with PlayStation. And the introduction of PlayStation, PlayStation 5. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. This was me reacting to the highlights and covering some other topics. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, my goal to reach this year, honestly, is like 100 subscribers. Obviously more, but hopefully I can reach that goal, which uh, Juan, let me want out. I'll see y'all soon. Knowing y'all, y'all probably lose first place on Thanksgiving. Y'all sorry, son. Ooh, y'all make me sick.